time, uh, Victor is coming back, and he's coming back to um, baptize his daughter, Stacy. Finally, when I, oh, 
Yeah. Um, finally, when it came to civilization and the point of feeling so broken and undeserving, I repented of my sin and became a true follower of Christ. Ever since that point in sophomore year when I was saved, that missing element I felt when originally calling myself a Christian suddenly seemed to be filled by the love and grace of Jesus. From there, God put me through that growth phase, which everyone talks about after salvation, where we learn so much about God and in little terms we grow in our faith in Jesus. This is something I never experienced before. I found so much excitement and peace reading God's word than understanding how it all comes together because of Jesus who saved me of my sins. With my salvation came God putting me to use where he placed me. Going into high school, I wondered God's purpose for placing me where I was at. As mentioned previously, I knew no one at the school, but in addition, before entering high school, I always wanted to go to our rental school. But the Lord closed the door on me. Finding when I was saved, my eyes were open to how large of a mission field my high school was. There were so many who never heard of the wonderful love of Jesus, and many who just never experienced love in itself in their family lives. From there, God called me to start a Christian club at school, and he worked so many wonders in it and through. Even today, the Christian club is something I look on, back on that summarizes a large portion of my high school experiences. The beginning of junior year of high school, things got really hard. <clears throat> it was mainly because school was extremely stressful and busy. The more I thought about college, I would just feel more stressed. At the beginning of my junior year, I was losing weight because I was freaking to eat. For an hour or so, a few days per week, I experienced emotional breakdowns. This <clears throat> dragged on for almost two years. With only a few I shared, I was really depressed. But this time of great trial, The time of great trial and challenge was one of the most joyful times because God revealed himself to me about how he never had and never will leave me. The Lord constantly brought encouragement to me, telling me that my, my academics, reputation, and so many earthly and temporary things are all nothing compared to his glory. Throughout, the Lord strengthened me and pushed me to be challenged. Even when I put other things ahead of God, Still stayed by my side and I um, never stopped pursuing my heart. Um, it also said I would turn towards him and make him my number one year in life. Sorry. Then, um, when looking back on how imperfect and simple I saw myself when I was a sophomore year, I have not lost this perception of myself even today. Um, Psalm 18, verse 30 says, As for God, his way is perfect. Um, the word of the Lord is flawless. He is a shield for all who take refuge in him. These imperfections of mine only help point me back towards my perfect God. And remember that these natural human qualities of mine we be dependent on. The great thing about God is that even though we don't deserve His grace and we're so unworthy before Him, He accepts us just the way we are and He wants all of us to know Him as a personal and loving Father. First Timothy verse two, chapter 2 verse 2 to 4 says, um, For kings and all those in authority that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. This is good and pleases God our Savior. Who wants all men to be saved? and to come to knowledge of the truth. Um, I promise having testified in my own life that being a follower of Christ holds so much joy and pleasure that can't be found anywhere else in this world. So, I stand before you today ready to obey the hand of God to be baptized. But, last page, um, <laughs> this is not only obedience to God for me, it's a way that I can show the Lord my gratitude and love for Him. After all that He has done for me and placed me here. Thank you. Seventeen years uh, seems like it's short, and she's going off to college. 
college in a few weeks, and uh, we're gonna miss you. But uh, I pray that you know God uh, will strengthen you uh, throughout your college uh, career and career as well. And uh, we just thank you for being a wonderful daughter. Stacy, based on your profession of faith in Jesus Christ as your Savior, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, 